My, my worry is, you know, somebody who's caught in the selfishness, caught in, in, in my world, it's self-made. And this is like a huge thing about being self-made and um, just being selfish to succeed. How, how would you tell them to move over to sort of helping others and trying to serve others? Well, it's a mindset, isn't it? it it's, it's, you got to start just thinking about it and realizing it. Let me, here's a research project we did recently. We're measuring how many pedestrians in a crosswalk when the cars have stopped for them, how many pedestrians wave a simple thank you? Thank you for stopping. I, I, perhaps you won't be surprised, but it's under 10%. You know, 7.5%. The rest of them just walk on, not even realize that somebody just stopped their vehicle for you to cross the road. And I guess how it relates to the point you just made is, Maybe we have to stop and reflect, you know, gratefulness. You know, there's a field of psychology that I've been, I've been studying. It started by Martin Seligman about 20 years ago called positive psychology. Now, when people think of psychology, they think of the negative side, helping people who are emotionally distraught, helping the bad side. But there's a good side. What makes people happy? And Marty Seligman started this field about 2000, called positive psychology. And part of positive psychology, just one piece of it is gratitude. Feeling gratitude and expressing gratitude. And research has shown that when you express gratitude, you feel better yourself. So it's kind of like the answer to your question, might have, maybe people just have to try it. Try it. When you cross the road, a simple thing like that, just thank that driver, man. Just give him a thumbs up and they might give you a thumbs up back. And my, my point is a greater appreciation of what we have and what other people do for us and what you do for others. How do you not get lost with, with this? Because I feel like I am the, t I'm the type of guy who will wait, wave at the people who stop. But um, I would say recently there was a certain situation where I lost the feeling of gratitude and I start maybe bought into my ego a little bit more. How, what sort of techniques or what, what do you do to sort of make sure you don't fall into those, those feedback loops and the ne like a negative feedback loop? Well, and you have to realize why did you fall in a negative? Maybe it was because you waved and it didn't, there was no response or maybe maybe you know as a driver it really blows me away i am more tuned into this now than ever before i'll pull up to the, and i'll watch these people walk and i'll roll down my window and i'll say you're welcome you know so i i am must admit that i am more uh tuned into this and maybe more aware and it, it is frustrating but maybe we have to simply say we can make a difference simple simple gratitude and by the way how about if we're gratitude if we're more grateful you know i'm grateful that i'm still here you know after 80 years i I'm, I'm still here and i'm talking what a, what i want every day is a gift and it's kind of like we have a lot of people to show appreciation for that you know but it, you know we do get into this routine we get into this um win lose mindset you know I'm a winner and I'm fighting. It's always, it seems to be too much win lose in our, in our world today. And I, I think it takes leaders to step up and say, I'm going to, I'm going to tweak it, man. I, I, it's, it's not a big deal, but I'm just going to try to show more positivity. What's the best way for myself to inspire people to be self-motivated? Ooh, well, well, that depends on your situation, Jordan, right? Some depends on where you're at, you know, for, for and it depends who that somebody is. What if it's a young, a young ch child, you know, um, it, it depends. For example, you want this child to wear a certain outfit to go to school. Some parents would say, you're wearing it, put it on. But if you want the kid to be motivated, you say, you pull out two outfits which one you want. As a parent, you're satisfied with both. 
but the kid is getting to choose. I mean, that's a simple example, but again, that's with a child and that's a situation with getting him to dress up for school. I mean, a lot depends on the situation as to what technique you would use. I mean, competence, boy, you could, you, we have, you have opportunities every day to tell somebody you did that well. And that's, that's, that's a start, but what did I do well? Well, I've been watching you and the way you did such and such was special. And in fact, you taught me something by doing it that way. Whoa, huh? That, that gives me a sense of competence. And so we have opportunities all day long to do that. You know, I walk along to campus and I see the janitorial staff sweeping the, the, Iowa, the, the, the sidewalks. And, and I, I, don't hesit, I don't hesitate to say thank you. And, and by the way, they're, they're shocked. What? I said, thank you. You're making this place look good. I say this to the janitor, janitorial staff all the time. Thanks for making this place look organized and neat. But the point is, what did I just do? It was a simple little statement of gratitude, but did it maybe influence their sense of competence and their self-motivation? So every time you show gratitude, we also demonstrating community, a sense of we're in this together, folks. We're all in this together. So when you cross the street, you pedestrian, and you just seem to care about yourself, how about think about the big picture? That guy stopped for you. He stopped for you. He's using up gasoline while you're crossing the street. Anyway, that's a simple example, but it's it happens to us every day. Sometimes it's these things that happen on a daily basis that make us realize, wow, there's an opportunity. I missed that opportunity. I could have said something. When I when I go to the pharmacy, I finally found a pharmacy that I really like. I don't hesitate to tell them when they call me up and say your prescription is ready. Man, I I don't just don't, I don't just pay for that. I have to tell them. I have to tell them that I've lived a long time and I've been to many pharmacies. You guys are the best. And they smile. I mean, what have I done? I've, I've just a little, little boost in their self-confidence, a little boost in their sense of competence. So every day we have opportunities to do that.